All right, Whole Life Challengers, welcome to Movement Vault. So at Movement Vault, we offer you guys a new 15-minute video routine every day to help you increase your flexibility, increase your mobility, ultimately decreasing your injury risk and increasing your performance in life and in the gym. So during this exclusive video series, we've partnered up with Whole Life Challenge to offer you a new video every week that will focus on different areas of the body. To find out more about our program, check out movementvault.com. What we're going to do today is we're going to get after a, a flow series. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your whole body neck down to the uh, feet through a whole series of motions. We're usually going to do about five reps. I'm going to cue you along um, in the videos, but I want you guys to pay attention and kind of make sure you guys are in the right positions. Other than that, we don't really need a whole lot, just a mat. We're going to get right into it here, guys. So let's get right down to the mat here and start crushing. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start off in this quadruped position. So when we say quadruped, we're thinking hands and knees. So we're going to really spend some time here with the uh, T-spine. So we're going to think about moving one vertebrae at a time. And so we're all going to start out here in this cat position. So we call this first move segmented cat camels. So we're going to start here flexing our abs and our glutes one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to slowly start to unwind my, my hips, my low back, slowly moving up into my upper back and then all the way up into my neck. And once I extend everything, I'm going to keep my low back and hips where they are, bring just my chin to my chest and start to flex my upper back, middle back, lower back, really squeezing my abs here. And again, my goal is to make a wave. And so we're going to reverse that here, starting at the hips, making our way back up, thinking about making a wave starting from my lower back, one vertebrae at a time, and then getting up into my upper back, and then making that wave all the way back down to my low back and my hips. And so that was two reps. We're going to continue three more here. And so your goal here is to try to activate each individual little muscle that attaches into each vertebrae of your spine. So we're going all the way up, all the way down. So these little muscles that attach and move our spine, you know, we tend to kind of lose activation and um, really contraction of these muscles. So really spending some diligent time here and getting those activated is key. So go real slow here, guys. Again, trying to move one vertebrae at a time. Thinking about making that wave all the way up and all the way down. I'm going to finish out my fifth rep here. And as we do this, we're going to continue to breathe in and out through the nose. Squeezing all the muscles on the back side of my back. And as I flex, I'm squeezing my ab muscles, my glutes to really try to get my low back, my, my hips tucked underneath. And then let's go ahead and kind of shake that out here. So we're going to move on to the hips now, guys. So the key with this one is I want you to keep your abs engaged. What we're going to do is we're going to keep our hands down. We're going to extend our left hip here. We're then going to abduct and bring our left leg out to the side here. Now you can go ahead and kind of push your heel away from your body so that you get a little stretch here in the adductors. So what we're going to do is we're going to contract our adductor musculature, which is the inside thigh area here. As we, and as we do that, we're going to think about digging our heel down into the ground. So we're digging our heel down into the ground, contracting these muscles here. As we do that, we're going to slowly push our hips back keeping a relatively neutral spine as we feel that stretch here in this adductor musculature. And then we're going to slowly come back up, keep that contraction going in these adductors. And once we come back up, then we're going to reset, keep our abs engaged here. And then we're going to lift this leg out straight to the side as high as we can go for four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. 
Rest for a second. You can even swivel that heel out a little bit more. Your foot's going to be a, a relative 45 degree angle here from the ground as well. That's something to pay attention to. And then we're going to go ahead and contract these adductor muscles as we slowly push those hips back again as far as we can go. And then keep on digging that heel down into the ground as you come back up into a neutral position. Get nice and reset and lift that leg out to the side. Again, trying to keep the abs engaged for two, one, and relax. Good. Push it out again. We're going to do three more of these flows here for this hip. So I'm contracting my adductor muscles. And then I'm slowly pushing those hips back as far as I can go. Coming back up. Reroute and lift that hip up into abduction. Try not to rotate your back for two, one, and relax. Good. Two down, guys. I'm going to kind of let you go at your own pace here. So what we're doing here is we're, we're contracting these adductor muscles as we're stretching them out. So this is an active technique. And again, we use primarily active techniques here at Movement Vault. We call these eccentric contractions. Yeah, right. Finishing my last one here, guys. Remember to keep those adductor muscles contracted as you push your hips back. Come back up. Fight for that height for two, one, and relax. Let's go ahead and bring that left knee back down to the mat. And now we've got our right side here now. So again, same thing, guys. We're going to go ahead and keep those abs engaged. Extend that hip. Bring that right leg out to the side. Go ahead and you can push that right heel back. Feeling a nice stretch in these inner groin muscles here. Again, my foot can swivel up to about a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to contract these adductor muscles. We're doing the exact same thing we did on the other side. Pushing those hips back as far as I can go. As I contract those adductors. Come back to neutral here. And let's go ahead and lift that leg up for four, three, two, and one. Back down. Let's go ahead and shift that out to the side again. Let's get in our nice position. And same deal, guys. We're contracting those adductor muscles as we push those hips back. Feel that nice stretch as you contract them. Go ahead and come back up. Reroute those hands, get those abs engaged, and we're lifting that hip up. Three, two, and one, and back down. And let's go ahead and shift that out. We got a few more here, guys. So you guys can go ahead and go at your own pace. Just make sure you're staying active in these stretching uh, motions and really fighting for height when you're lifting that leg. So try to get a little further each time. Keep those hands rooted. Keep those abs engaged as you lift, fighting for height. And I'm going to finish up my last one, guys. So if you guys have already done your five, then you guys need to slow that down a little bit. So as we do these flows, we're trying to remain breathing in and out through our nose as much as possible. All right, guys. Now the uh, knees, both of them come back down. We're in our quadruped position again. We're going to get some shoulder action in here today. So we call these reverse snow angels. We're going to do single arms. So what these are going to look like is I'm going to start on my right arm. We're going to go ahead and extend that, keep that arm straight, palms up to the ceiling. 
we're going to extend the shoulder as high as we can go. From here, we're going to bend the elbow, try to touch the opposite shoulder blade. Then, once I can't go anymore, I'm going to straighten the elbow. I'm going to flip my palm down, squeeze my shoulder blade, come all the way overhead, fighting for height. And then I'm going to touch my opposite shoulder blade as far as I can. Straighten the elbow. Keep that palm down as I come back to the starting position. Flip that palm up to the ceiling. Fight for your shoulder extension. And again, touch the bottom of that shoulder blade. That was one rep. We're going to do two more here, guys. Straighten the elbow. Flip the palm up. Fight for it. Flip the palm down. Come all the way up overhead in your dive position. Try to touch that opposite shoulder blade. Straighten the elbow. Slowly come back to the start. Once you can't go anymore, you're flipping the palm up. Extend the shoulder. Touch the bottom of the other shoulder blade. We've got one more here, guys. Stick with it. Straighten the elbow. Flip the palm all the way up overhead. Reach for that dive. Touch the top of the other shoulder blade. Straighten as you come back down, flipping your palm up to the ceiling and touching the bottom of the other shoulder blade. Good. All right, guys, one down. So we're going to go on the uh, left shoulder now. So stay nice and active here in the right, the right shoulder as well, staying nice and rooted here. So let's go ahead and lift that left arm up. Elbow stays straight for now. Palm is to the ceiling. Really extend. So the goal here is to use as much range of motion as you can. Activate all that musculature around the shoulder blade. Bend the elbow, touch the bottom of the other shoulder blade. Straighten the elbow, extend the shoulder, flip the palm down, come all the way up overhead in your dive position. Bend your elbow, try to touch that other shoulder blade. Straighten the elbow. Keep your shoulder blade pinched as you come back to the start. Flip your palm up to the ceiling, extend your shoulder. Bend your elbow, touch the bottom of the other shoulder blade. Straighten it again, guys. Flip the palm down, all the way overhead. Reach for it, guys. Touch the bottom or the top of the other shoulder blade. Straighten that elbow. Return back to the start. Flip your palm to the ceiling. Touch the bottom of that shoulder blade. You got one more here, guys. Let's finish this one on your own. Keep breathing here, guys. And bottom of the other shoulder blade. And boom. All right, guys. Shake those shoulders off. Gotten some good scapular action. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work in the, a half kneeling position here. So let's get the right leg forward. Uh, left knee is going to stay on the ground. Make sure you're definitely uh, patting your back knee here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a nice, deep, kind of wide lunge here. I want you to think about digging your heel down into the ground, contracting the hamstrings here on the right side. As you do this, you're going to push your hips backwards. So I'm contracting these hamstrings as we stretch them out. And we're going to go as low as we can go. Then we're going to keep on activating, digging that hamstring down as I pull myself out of that stretch. And we lunge forward, keeping a neutral spine, squeezing the left glute here. So really squeeze it here, guys. We're holding for a few seconds, and then we're going back down. So dig that heel down into the ground. Push those hips back. As low as you can go, feel that stretch in the right hamstring. Keep digging that heel in. Pull yourself out of that position as you lunge forward. Squeeze that left glute. Feel all of that stretch there for two, one, and we're flowing back down. Dig that heel down. Keep those hamstrings contract. Go as low as you can go. Maybe you can get a lower this time. Pull yourself out with that right hamstring. Lunge forward. Feel that stretch as you squeeze that left glute for two, one. And last one on this side, guys. Dig the hamstring. So again, we're doing these what we call eccentric contraction. So we're stretching out the muscle while we keep it contracted. And it's really the most effective way to increase your flexibility and mobility. Lunge forward, squeeze that left glute. Four, two, one. 
and relax. Good. Same thing on the other side, guys. Switch sides. Let's get the left leg forward. Same deal. You can get into a nice wide lunge. The left heel digs down into the ground as you can track these left hamstrings. Kicking those hips back, keeping a relatively neutral spine, and keep that hamstring contracted as you pull yourself forward, lunge forward, squeeze that right glute this time, feeling the stretch in the right hip flexor. Let's go ahead and repeat this here. We're doing four on this side as we dip back down. If you need to hold on here, guys, too, that's perfectly okay. We all need to start where we're at with the flows and movement vault and the other positions. We, all, we have a bunch of different levels here, so squeeze that right glute. So if this is challenging balance-wise, you can use a few fingertips. You can use one hand, two hands, whatever you guys need, as long as you are challenging yourself because at the end of the day if it's easy it's probably not effective good let's do one more on this side guys and then we're going to finish up with the rotation piece here and and you guys made it let's go ahead and flow back up guys squeeze that right glute this time really make it count contract 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 feel the stretch for two one and relax all right guys so let's go ahead and switch sides so we're going to get that right uh, leg forward again we're going to stay in this half kneeling position we're going to do some rotations and really engage all of these muscles around the back and the core so what we're going to do let's punch the arms up side bend over to the left as far as you can go squeezing all these muscles over here then we're going to reach and rotate and really get that low back rounded here that's okay Rotate as far as you can go over to one side. And then we're going to go ahead and slowly reach and rotate as far as we can to the other side. Same deal. Reach and rotate. And again, if you need, uh, if this is challenging, because it is, um, just rotate as far as you can, can, you can one way or the other. If it's really challenging in this position, you can go two knees and go this way but I want you to fight for as much rotation and as much reaching as you can in one way. And as you get all the way over to one side, really squeeze those muscles here for a few seconds and then slowly reach and rotate as you squeeze on the other side. And let's do one more for this direction and one more for the other. And we're going to go ahead and bring the right knee down. Left leg comes forward. Same exact thing, guys, except we're going to, we're doing it with this uh, opposite leg setup. So let's go ahead and punch the arms up. Side bend over to the right. Start your reaches and your rotations. Same exact deal. Really feel those legs grounded and rooted down into your mat as you're getting all those muscles around your torso firing and activating, stretching out at the same time. Again, trying to squeeze and fight for as much range of motion as you can. We're going to do one more to each side, guys. And awesome job, guys. You guys crushed the Movement Vault video. I know your body's loving it. To find out more about Movement Vault, you can check us out at Movement Vault. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We love to see what you guys are doing out there. Post a pic, a video of you doing Movement Vault. Tag us in it. We'll send you a love, a shaka. With that, guys, we'll see you next time.